Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to upgrade Magento from minor version to another mi minor version. So we will upgrade our Magento from 2.4.1 to 2.4.2. It has been a while since we've been working on 2.4.1, so probably it's now time to upgrade it to 2.4.2. Now what we're looking at is at the Magento docs and here this is the page where we take in the information and then upgrade our Magento. So we will work on this step by step. If we go to the Magento admin, in the Magento admin we will see the Magento version is 2.4.1. If we go to the console we can type in bin Magento and then type dash v we will get the version as 2.4.1. We will need this to be 2.4.2 and then on the admin we want this to be 2.4.2 as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the process of how to upgrade Magento step by step. So we will work from upgrading the commerce which is the Magento whether it is a enterprise or community editions but we will work on the community edition. Now we will we don't need to do this step like uh, maintenance enable because we're not working on live we never do upgrades on live we do it on local and then we ship it to the test servers and then once they work fine on test servers then and we deploy it to live. So we skip in this step because we don't need it. Uh, I don't think we need to install the plugin here so we will skip this step as well because we don't need it now uh, because and also it's already installed in our case because if we go to the composer.json and then we will see this is already installed so we don't need the plugin in. Now the first thing is so the update here the composer update dependent on the composer require uh, the composer plugin so we don't need it as well now we will go from managing packages the first thing is to back up our composer json and composer lock files so first of all we will try this now we will do here we will say cp which is copy composer.json to composer.json.back bck now this will be backed up now we also need need to copy composer.lock to composer.lock.bck. Now we backed up our composer JSON and composer lock, lock files. The next step is to get to remove the remove the community edition. So we will just copy this command and then paste it here. Paste and run and then this will remove it in our case. So we'll remove it from the composer JSON. Once it's been removed then we will go and require the correct version so we copy this command for the open source not the Adobe commerce because we're working on a community so we will copy this command for the community and now we paste it here we don't need paste without new line and then we need to change from 2.4.0 to 2.4.2 and now we just require without update so it just updates the composer JSON file without running any installation so let's wait for it to finish and then we will see how the composer JSON looks like okay so now is finished and it's been updated so if we look at the composer JSON now we will see it's updating it to 2.4.2 the next step from the docs says to so this is example of minor for batches now the next step is to apply updates which is the composer update so the next step it will be composer update command so composer update and this is going to take a bit of time okay now we are good the upgrade is done the dependency packages are coming through and it's updated as you can see here in the window now the next step is to go ahead and see what's in the documentation so they saying to remove some the cache folders and generated code so just copy here and then paste it that new line and then go again here paste it and then the last thing is the generated code and that's all to it we are done the last step will be to upgrade magento so php pn magento setup upgrade 
okay now the upgrade is done if we run the bin magento and then dash v okay this will tell us now it's 2.4.2 if we refresh in the admin right okay so we have an exception an error saying specified invalid parent id dot digital group email underscore email marketing automation report so if we look at the dot digital package if we go to vendor and then we need a dot digital dot mailer and this dot mailer so probably a menu and this is is invalid and this is because in the previous videos from where we started to shoot videos about magento we removed all the dot digital the dot mailer dot mailer extensions now the to solve this because we're not using these anymore to solve this this is saying this module saying dependent on dot mailer magento extension but we remove it from our extension from our json file here from the composer json file so to do to fix this is we just copy the module name and we just copy it and paste it here we remove it all together so we don't need it so we put this as well so we remove it from here once installed it will be removed to do this now we need to run composer install and now it's removed then we need to run magento upgrade again setup upgrade this is typo so we run it again and now it's done so we still have have the version as 2.4.2 in the console and also we will need to see that is the version also present in the magento add-in here we go you can see it 242 now if we refresh again and now we can see the version is 242 in the admin as well and here we go we have successfully upgraded the magento from 2.4.1 to 2.4.2 we have seen one problem and we fix it by removing the module because we removed the dependencies on it uh, before and now it's trying to uh, call a dependent module functionality that isn't exist because we removed it and the solution was to remove it however you will see it's quite expensive to upgrade sometimes because the theme is going to change the api is going to change magento will hugely uh, change especially if you change from 2.3 to 2.4 and that will have magento will have a break in changes and from the breaking changes you have to deal with them and you have to specify time and effort in order to fix them in order to be in up to date with magento in your newest version and i think this is it for you guys i hope you like the video please like and subscribe and i see you next time